Hi, this is Penny Halverson back again and uh, a couple weeks ago I did some stuff on some adult coloring and I promised that we were going to do another video on some board games. Well this week we are going to talk about trivia. Now, everybody has uh, some knowledge and we just really would like, I just really like to talk a little bit about the trivia and, and I've got other board games too. Um, when I was a kid, we didn't have uh, the media you have now. We had um, radio, which most of the stuff was things kids weren't really interested in listening to. It was things like Paul Harvey, and then they had some soaps on. And for us kids, if wintertime came around, we played games. So it's really near and dear to my heart, board games. And then as we got older, um, we did more card games and things like that. And then as my kids got going older enough, then we started playing um, board games more again. And we still didn't have a lot of media like they had then when the kids were little because they didn't have all the video games and all that. What we had was board games and that's what we did in the winter time when kids weren't so wanting to go outside so much. But uh, I divide up into some categories. Um, we have trivia, we have some unique board games, we have some vintage board games that I don't even know if you can get a hold of anymore, but since we're um, sharing from a hobby store, maybe if you um, come in and inquire about games, he can maybe get you onto some of the things if you see anything you're interested in as we do this series of um, games. So the ones I'm going to talk about today are trivia. Okay, in 1982 is when Trivia Pursuit came out and we still have the original Trivia Pursuit game. This is the first one and we were all excited about that because I've always been a fan of trivia and when I grew up they didn't have Knowledge Bowl and all those things in school where you could practice trivia. What we did is me and my classmates we'd make up quizzes for each other and we'd do them and that was our trivia but when this came out this was really exciting to me because I've always enjoyed trivia um, and if you've never played Trivia Pursuit this is um, a general knowledge or some weird knowledge some of them are very um, historical geographical um, I think my board here is kind of broke up but if you never <laughs> <laughs> Definitely broke up. <laughs> but if you've never seen a Trivial Pursuit board game before, this is what it looks like. And you have to collect the pies in each of the knowledge categories. And then you go to the center and answer a final question to win the game once all your pies are won. And this can be a pretty long game if you're not really getting your answers right away or can't hit the places you're supposed to hit. But um, that was the first game that came out. Okay, so anyway, after this one came out, they came back, came out with some more. They had at least four more volumes of the general Trivial Pursuit. Then they came out with five versions of called Genus. They had Genus 1, 2, 3, 4, and these were a little more um, people friendly that didn't know quite exact things and they were a little easier to play so I think that's why they updated that and we got one um, called Bible Trivia and that was uh, all about just Bible but the imp interesting thing about this game was they included cards for young players they had the blue ones for the young and the white ones for the older ones and they could play it together then the ones were basically Sunday school questions if you went to any kind of Sunday school or had uh, some general knowledge of Bible stories these were for the you and then they had the more um, detailed ones for the adults so everybody the family could play that one there was another version of Bible trivia but I didn't really care for the way they did that one up it wasn't one that really was too interesting to me and the original Trivial Pursuit, they started coming out with what we would call expansion sets, I think is what they would be called. And I got excited because we got a Christmas one. And I don't even know if they even have that anymore, but this one talked about, oh, let's see. 
they had, well, let me read the categories on this one. This was a fun one. Everybody liked to play this one. Um, the categories are, oh, I don't have it on there either. Hmm. Oh, history, facts, and features, uh, traditions around the world, cartoons, animation, movie specials, carols, songs. Um, movies on the silver screen and literatures and the performing arts and it all had to do with Christmas. We had one called the silver screen at one time and that's all vintage movies and that was a hard one. Unless you were a vintage movie watcher, that was a tough one. And then there was a music one that I had at one time. It was through 1985 is what the music went through. And that was another one very difficult. A friend of mine was a real music buff, so she ended up with that edition because I just didn't know enough about music. <laughs> so anyway, um, and then there were also versions like the 1980s, the 1960s, Disney, Millennium, the 25th anniversary. There was a bunch of mini sets called just card packs that you could add to your original. And that, we had one called Flicks, and that was all about just blockbuster movies. And that was another one the younger people could play, because a lot of them were just um, the popular movies of the day. Um, we also have special editions. Now this one is the Star Wars one, and that was kind of fun, because if you've watched the Star Wars movies, this is just for the first three, the four through six, four, five, and six. Yeah, and then, uh, so that was the ones we did there, and that one was, there. Um, the kids got to play that one quite a bit because they all watched Star Wars along with us. There was one, The Lord of the Rings, which is a more updated one, and that had a DVD along with it, and you watched uh, little clips and answered questions on that at different points during the game. Um, there was one without that, too, and I think there was a DVD dish edition for the... Star Wars also. And then there's probably updated expansions for Star Wars with the prequels and sequels or whatever else there all is on that. I don't know. And then they have one called Pop Culture. And that's all to do with just modern day things. And that was a little different too. It has um, a DVD and then you play, I think the board, well the board's pretty much the same as the originals. But they had um, more like music, and then you had productions. Let's see, let's look at the categories on that one. That one has, the blue is TV, the pink ones were fads, yellow was buzz, which is just the gossip of the day. Uh, purple is music, green was the movies, and orange was sports and games. And this is all more updated stuff, um, just... And that's a fun one, and you answer movies off clips also. And there was a pop culture too also, I didn't know that. I looked it up on the internet just not too long ago. And here's one just on movies, and this is a more updated one again. It's called Seen It, and that's a DVD game also. But it's a little different board. It's not really a original Trivial Pursuit. It's like this. And you have all kinds of cool little gadgets that you move around. You got a movie thing, popcorn, you've got a reel, and you got a projector, I believe, is what that little guy is. And this one, you play with the DVD and answer questions about the clips, and then you have buzz cards that put you back and forth and. Like here, bummer, you leaned up against a wet bathroom sink just before your audition and you have to go back two spaces. So some of these are good, some of them not so good. And the dice is kind of funky. It tells you what category there you have to answer questions on. And then when you get to the end, you have a final cut. And then you have to answer some more questions on that. And then you have, that's all on the DVD though. They, they don't give you opportunity to choose on that one. You have to do whatever they pick for you. So that one, they had a, a expansion version on this one too, and that was the set two. 
And then there's another movie one that's just not too long ago that came out, and that's Pass the Popcorn, and that's all about movies also. And this one is more, um, more um, to do with quotes, characters, storylines, and if you don't know your movies very well, this would not be your best uh, game. We've played it a few times, but it's, unless you really know stuff, um, some of it's updated, some of it's old, like here, 1980 horror movie, or 2000 comedy, 2006 action, so some of them, like, are 1998 fantasies, um, 1997, 1983, so they don't go back too far, but... They are very uh, interesting. And we played that one as kind of a fan, uh, party game, too. So it kind of fits in that character character's spot there. But if you're a movie buff, that's one of them that you might be interested in. And then my favorite last one that we've got, which I was really um, enjoying so much now because it's different it's a trivia game but it's different everybody can play it and this is the I know and we have really enjoyed this as a family we've enjoyed it as friends houses and I want to sh really show you this board because this one is so um, people friendly it's friendly for everybody this one has very colorful cards okay at the beginning of the game you lay out um, picture cards and they have, as you notice, they have different colors on each one. I want to make sure I get some of all of them. I think I might have it all. Get some green ones on there. And another pink one. And that's the way the board is laid out. And as you play, you shake your dice. And whatever, well, I got a wild, so you get to choose whatever card is on here. And you have to identify the card and what's on it. Say I pick this one, which is green. I, it's a wild, so I can pick any of the colors on here. And I say, okay, that's a toucan. And then they have trivia questions on the back for you to answer. And I got the number three, so I have to answer the number three question. It says, toucans are native to two continents. Name one of those continents. And then you name it, and if you get it, you get the card, and then the first person to get five cards wins the game. Throughout the game, you take one off the board, and then you just keep filling the board with new cards. And sometimes you get a bunch of stuff that's not so easy, and other times it's got, like, uh, animals and things that kids recognize. And you get to choose as you go, so that's kind of fun. Okay, I'm going to get some besides wild here. <laughs> okay, blue. Okay, now on the blue ones here, we have something we have to pick. If I was to be playing this game, I'd have to pick off the blue card. And this one I'd say, okay, it's a Scottish kilt. Yep, okay. And then I'd have to answer question number one. And these are all true and false on one. The pattern on most Scottish kilts is called a brogue. Is that true or false? And then you answer that question, and if you get it right, you get to keep the card. And that's the way that one goes. Um, we have uh, really enjoyed this. I wish they'd get some more expansion packs for them because they're kid-friendly, adult-friendly, people who think they don't know anything friendly. I mean, uh, one of the... People at a party one time that never plays um, games played it and enjoyed it, which really surprised me because I've never seen him even play games before, but that was fun. So anyway, that's kind of where I'm at with games for the trivia part of it. And if any of these now, I just want to, um, I just want to um, continue to encourage you if if any of these look like something you might enjoy or have fun with or enjoy either look it up on the internet get involved get involved and learn some stuff and sometimes you learn things you really interesting things and other times you think oh man what's all that about but 
uh, either way, you're learning something, you're involving yourself with other people, and you're getting some time together just to have fun. So um, stop in at the hobby store at Guff Stuff if you happen to uh, want to see, if you want him to look or order something. I'm sure he can find it for you or try to or give you some information anyway. So anyway, that's all I have for today. So I'm signing off.